Hello everyone. So in the previous couple of videos, we have shown you how to find the appropriate journal for your research paper. And also in one video, we have shown how you can check if your journal is listed in Scoopus database. Now let's say you have found a journal where you are going to submit your paper. And it is also maybe listed in Scoopus. But still, you want to know the ranking of the journal in the domain of the research field. Okay. So normally, the most widely used quality criteria is the impact factor. There are fake journals, which brings up uh, many different impact factors. But there is actually only one impact factor that is given by Thomson Reuters, the Clivariate Analytics. Okay. When a journal is listed in the master journal list of Thomson Reuters, that's when they get impact factor. And that's the only impact factor that is real and that is broadly used as a quality criteria. The higher the impact factor, the most reputed or prestigious the journal is. Okay, That's an overall understanding. But today I am going to show you five tools using which you can find the ranking of a journal. First three tools that I'm going to show you today applies to all fields, all fields of research, all domains of research. But the last two will be more specific to the business and management research field. Okay, so let's start. So first we'll start with Shimago. Okay, here you can actually see journal ranking, country ranking, uh, institution ranking. You can actually see a lot of different things here. But now today our focus is on journal ranking. So let's say I'm taking an example. For instance, let's say I'm using journal of clean and production. So now you have a journal in your mind or maybe one, two, three. Maybe you have three journals in your mind you have shortlisted. So you will check one by one if all the three journals meets your quality criteria. Okay, so that's what maybe you want to see. So you will have to go through one by one. So now let's say I'm going with journal of cleaner production. I have a paper and I want to send the paper to journal of cleaner production. So I want to see how good they are. So I search with the name of the journal. So then I see that it's listed in Shimago. That's already a good sign. And then we go for detail. We click and go for detail. So here I see the H index of Shimago is 150. And that is actually quite high. A journal with uh, 30 or 40 H index is already pretty good. So it's 150 means it's really, really good. H index normally means that here, 150 H index means that at least 150 papers of this journal received 150 or more citations. So that's really a good number. Here we can see the research field of these journals. So this journal publishes papers which are in business management, in renewable energy, in industrial and manufacturing engineering, and environmental science. Okay, the publisher. Uh, we can see the coverage of the journal. So this journal started in 1993, which is pretty good. The longer a journal is out there, the better. Okay, because the normally serious journals they go on for longer times. Fake journals, not so good journals, they start and then they discontinue after a few years five years, three years, you know. So journals which are there for 10 or more years means really good journal, okay? And in Shimago actually, what you want to see is this part here, quartiles. For each of the research disciplines listed in Shimago, uh, they have these quartiles that divided all the journals in four quartiles, okay? Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Q1 represent the first 25% of the journals, Q2 represents second 25% of the journals, then Q3, third 25% of the journals, and Q4, rest 25% of the journals. So normally you will hear that everyone talks about Q1, I published a paper in Q1, they are so happy, you know. So this is what it means, that when a journal is Q1, it means that journal is, is among the top 25% of journals on that particular field. Okay, so for instance, this journal is Q1 for all these four fields. So that means it's a pretty good journal. Before 2005, it was Q2 for some of the domains. But since then, since 2006, it is Q1 for all of them. And that's a pretty good sign. Here you see for strategy and management, it was Q3 
quite long ago in 1999. So that's a long past. But normally, journals which are at the moment Q1 or Q2 are pretty good. Q1 are the very good ones and Q2 are still good. But the ones Q3 and 4, I would normally try to avoid them. They they may not mean too bad, you know, they may be they may become good ones Q2 or Q1 over time. But as a young researcher, I would really try to avoid Q3 and Q4 journals. And here you can also see the, this uh, SGI, SJR score of the journal. It's it's kind of similar to impact factor. Uh, it's given by Scoopus. And then you can see the citations per document. Here normally if we look into the two year, because that's more or less corresponding to the impact factor that we get from Collaborate Analytics. So that's like seven uh, for this journal, which is pretty good actually. And then here you can see total sites and cell sites. So this journal, how many times this journal was cited? Articles published in this journal was cited. So that's a lot, 43,000. That's a lot. And self-citation is 12, uh, 11,000. Normally, journals having more than 25 or 30% self-citations, they may get banned by Collaborate Analytics soon, you know. So journals should not self-cite themselves too much. And here you can see external sites per doc and sites per doc. So external sites per doc is pretty good actually for this journal. And here we can see the international collaboration, the higher the better. Here we can see most of their articles are citable documents, very few non-citable documents. And also we can see most of their articles are cited, very few non-cited documents. And of course it's a Q1 journal, which we have seen earlier. So this is what we can see from Shimago for journal quality. And we can see that whether it's a good journal or not. So just to wrap up, for Shimago here, I would say, try to avoid journals which are in Q3 and Q4, and try to go for journals which are Q1, like this one, okay? So now, let's move to the second criteria. The second one is the master journal list. It's by Collaborate Analytics, previously known as the Web of Science. Here, if a journal is listed here, that means it's pretty good. As you can see here, when a journal is listed here, it means they have high levels of editorial rigor and best practice. So that's one of the important thing in academia, that journals maintain high peer review, high editorial work, high quality of editorial work, okay? So journal listed here are pretty good in terms of that. So here I will again go with the same journal, example, Journal of Cleaner Production. And if I give a search here, here you could choose uh, between full title word, full title or IISN, but I I didn't change, I went with title word and it already shows me the journal. I gave the full title, it already gives me the journal and we can see that it is listed here. So that is actually a very good thing that this journal is listed in the master journal list. So this indicates that this journal maintains high quality of peer review and editorial work. Okay, so you can see some more detail here. So that's it from here. Now we will move to the third one, the Norwegian General Register, okay? So here in the Norwegian Register, we have only two categories, level one and level two. And level two means really good, and level one means decent journal. Uh, some of the good journals are also level one, but level two means really good journal, okay? And if a journal is not listed in level one or two, that means, or not listed at all, that means it is problematic journal. So let's go with Journal of Cleaner Production again. So if I press enter, I get the ranking and I see that actually Journal of Cleaner Production is level two in the Norwegian system. And here we can also see uh, the print journal start. So we see that it's level two. It was level one until 2010 and after that it became level two. And here actually we can also, it's if I change it to English, we see that we can see the author shares. So here is the author share of articles published uh, by the Norwegian authors, okay? And respective publication point for the Norwegian authors. Here you can see one more thing. Here you can see Shapira Romeo, green. That means, I will make another video on this, but for now, just to say quickly, if it's green, that means you can post the 
post print of this journal uh, publicly out there okay so that's it actually from this Norwegian journal database and just to inform you I will post the links of all these databases below the video description okay so have a look on the video description so now let's say if you are a business and management student then there are two more journal ranking which could be important for you so the first one is Australian Business Dean's Council Journal Quality List, shortly known as ABDC Journal Quality List, A stars, A, B, C. They have four categories here. So normally the journals which are the A star are the top journals. The A quality journals are also very good ones. B journals are okay journals. C are mm, decent, but maybe not so good. And journals not listed here are not good journals okay but you have to have in mind that if you are engineering or medical students your journals will not be listed here only the business and management science studies journals will be listed here so let's say if I start searching journal of cleaner production here I can also search with ISN or I can I can kind of browse for res different research field I can also see journal rankings here okay as I said a a a star a c and b so now let's i just go with this journal of cleaner production and i press enter and i see that actually there are no journals that meet, matches these parameters so actually journal of cleaner production in more into engineering and industrial and manufacturing systems rather than in business and management i guess that's why it is not listed here but let's say if I search with another journal, let's say transport reviews, uh, my research field is transport. So I transport and supply chain. So I actually try to publish in both transport reviews and journal of cleaner production. But now let's see what do we get with transport reviews? Yes, we see that it is listed here. We see the publisher. We see the rating. This is a rated journal. That means actually pretty good. It's a pretty good journal. Okay. And if you want to scroll for different research fields, let's say if I go to marketing, tourism and logistics, I just, yeah, I, I want to browse so I don't put any journal name. I can just uh, click filter, then I can see journals under this theme, okay, and their ratings, like this is B, this is C, you know, uh, this is A, so I can see the ratings of the journals. Normally A journals and A star journals are pretty good, okay. I can also say that okay show me only the extra journals under this domain so now yeah we see only the extra journals. so that's how actually you can browse here the main message I want to I want to give you is that try to publish in journals which are a star and a okay try to avoid B and C journals C journals try to avoid them okay if you are a very renowned professor of course it doesn't matter too much for you where you publish but if you're a young scholar try to publish in A and A star journals. That will make a great impact on your career, okay? And the last one, which is also relevant only for the business students, uh, is the ABS ranking. It's uh, from the UK, it's uh, Chartered Association of Business Schools, okay? So here I'm in their website, but here I will go to Academic Journal Guide. So normally you have to create an account, actually you have to create an account both in ABDC and ABS. So I have account in ABDC, that's why when I was there, I could uh, see the rankings, but you have to just quickly create an account, it's free, so just do that. And also the same for ABS, you have to create an account. Okay, register or login, I have account, so I'm going to just log in. So now I just logged in, and after logging in, I can, if I go to academic journal guide, I can actually view the guide here, I can actually view the guide here, okay? So here we can see the gu guideline. Here you can see the methodology of how they made this ranking. So here you can see the ranking of the journal. Here we have five ranking. One, two, three, four, and four star. Normally three, four are the very good ones and four star are the excellent ones. You know, it's like top 1%, okay? And then Level two is decent journals and level one, uh, normally I try to avoid them, but still okay journals. 
But if they're not, if if a journal that where you want to publish is not listed here at all, try to avoid it. Okay. And here you can actually see the fields. Uh, yeah, these are strategy journals. Here you can scroll by the fields, different fields, social science, and you can go on with many pages. But what I would do is I would actually search a journal that I have in my mind that I have already found using the journal finder. So I will search with, let's say if I go again with journal of cleaner production. So if I go with journal of cleaner production, let's see if it's there. It could be there, it may not be there. It's actually there, it's AVS level two. Although from the engineering perspective, it's a very high level, it's a Q1 journal. Uh, it has an impact factor over seven, but from the business perspective, it's only AVS level two. Okay, so if you're engineering uh, or somehow productions and operations management guy, it could be really top journal for you, but if you are in business, uh, not so, you will not be praised a lot, okay? But anyway, if I look into the transport age, transport reviews, let's see, where is it, where is this listed? This is also AVS level two. It was AVS level one in 2009, but since 2010, it's uh, AVS level two. And that's, that's pretty, pretty okay, pretty decent. Okay, but normally journals which are listed in level three or level four are pretty good one. For instance, I know one journal which is Journal of Operations Management. So I actually wish to publish in this, this journal someday. It's uh, yeah, one of my goals to publish at least one paper there someday. And here you can see this is actually a AVS four star journal. So that's a really, really top journal. Okay. Anyway, so that's how you can check if your journal, uh, the quality of the ranking of your journal. And here you can make this hundred or all of it. Then you can just scroll through all the journals listed here and their respective ranking, you know, so that's how you can do it. Yeah. Of course, and then this is the latest one actually. If I just scroll with this uh, scores here, I am expecting that four star, all the four, no, it's uh, giving me all the ones, but I want to see from the four stars, four stars, four, three, two. So let's see what happens. Yes, now we get all the four star journals here of different disciplines, but all the four star journals are here. We can see them. And then we have four, then we will have three and so on, okay? So just to wrap up for disciplines, which is outside of business and management, try, make sure that your journal is listed in Chimago, master journal list and this Norwegian database here, okay? In these three. And for those in the business and management field, your journal should be actually listed in all of them. And then it will make, it will will you will know that it's a very good journal. But actually, if it's listed in AVS or ABDC, then it will be listed in the other two anyway. So that's okay if your journal is listed in these two, okay? So thank you for watching. If you find it useful, uh, feel free to share with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.